The AMCA stealth fighter jet project will end India's dependence on America for fighter jet engines. A $7 billion investment will see GTRE partner with aerospace giant Safran. The French firm will set up a complete fighter jet engine ecosystem in India to manufacture 400 to 600 engines of 120 to 140 kN thrust for the AMCA Mark II and up to a thousand engines eventually with a 100% transfer of technology for the Indian Air Force by 2035 to 2040. This report in news portal Defence.in highlights Safran's commitment to Indian defence manufacturing. Hum in sab sare fighter planes ke इंजन भी भारत GTRE is focused on establishing a clear roadmap for the domestic production of next generation jet engines with the possible initial tests to start as soon by 2027. The proposal includes a complete transfer of technology with an aim to manufacture the jet engine in India from scratch. The single crystal turbine blades to digital engine control units, the proposal by Safran will empower Indian defence production industry and leaders like the HAL and associated private firms from Tata Advanced Systems to Godrej Aerospace. Complex engine parts such as high pressure compressor modules and FADEC or the full authority digital engine control units generally imported from particular foreign vendors would now also be manufactured within India. Now, there are multiple countries that export the FADEC units and crystal turbine blades to India. FADEC systems are imported with engines from the United States, which are GE aerospace engines, from France, which are Safran, and the UK Rolls-Royce engines, and come within the imported package of defence technology agreements with these nations. Similarly, crystal turbine blades are imported from leading aerospace countries like France, United States, United Kingdom and of course Russia. Now, there has been a recent push for indigenous engine development under the Make in India initiative and such proposals will only strengthen the capabilities of the country's defence technology industries. However, recently in October, India marked its first major step towards self-reliance in advanced field after India-based manufacturer company specialized in metals and alloys secured its first purchase order from GTRE, a division of Defence Research and Development Organisation or the DRDO. The PTC Industries Limited received responsibility for performing all post-cast operations to complete single crystal turbine blades in India. The operation involves a series of complex processes such as machining, grinding, brazing, vacuum heat treatment, thermal barrier coating and powder vapour deposition. So how will this proposal by Safran power India's fighter jet and engine ecosystem? The existing collaboration deals, for example, Rafale's M88 engines still involve a lot of foreign dependency to an extent. Simultaneously, the GE F414 engines that is expected to power not just the Tejas Mark IIs, but also AMCA Mark Is and its prototypes lacks the 120 to 140 kN thrust, which is necessary for the upgraded AMCA Mark II versions. The proposed engine by Safran will have all the potential to overcome such hurdles and these loopholes and will have the features like 3D thrust vectoring to work under harsh weather conditions and to have superior maneuverability for India's stealth fighter. The French proposal will conquer critical challenges of jet engine technology present at the moment. However, India is going through several other options as well before coming to a conclusion, but Safran is the front runner. A GTRE Safran engine is going to be fully Indian-owned, Indian-made engine and a key step for ambitious aviation programs that are expected to change India's position in the aerospace field and redefine India's air power. DRDO is awaiting the final approval for this engine deal from the Cabinet Committee on Security or the CCS. Initially, 400 to 600 of these engines are expected to power the fleet of twin-engine AMCA Mark IIs, the design of which is expected to enter service by 2035-2040. Now, it is being said the development of these engines will also strengthen the Indian Navy's 
ZBF project or the twin engine deck based fighter, which is being designed for India's aircraft carriers, INS Vikrant, and its sister ships. The GTRE Safran proposal is seen as a game changer for India's aerospace sector and could guarantee to close the technology gap to leading foreign manufacturers. But what do you believe? Can India trust America as a long-term defense partner? And how important is it for India to end dependence on America for fighter jet engines? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to InConnect News.